There have been some interesting rule changes and proposals in the world of college athletics that the NCAA decided on this week. The transfer window has now been shortened to just 45 days from 60 days for college football, 30 days after the conclusion of the season, and 15 days in the spring. They have made some changes to the D1 membership requirement, eliminate attendance requirements at FBS schools effective immediately, increase the application fee for transitioning from FCS to FBS from 5000 to 5000 Five million dollars effective immediately. Schools are now required to fund 210 scholarships a year amounting to no less than six million dollars annually. In terms of new scholarship players taken into a program, schools are now officially no longer limited to 25 new scholarship players. They may replace as many as they like as long as they do not cross the 85 scholarship player limit. Thank you transfer portal. They made some changes in terms of the sports wagering penalties. On a first offense, eliminate penalties that result in student athletes being withheld from competition, regardless of the dollar value of the wagers and including bets placed on other sports at the student athlete school and require education on sports wagering rules and prevention. On a second offense, potentially involve withholding penalties depending on the dollar value of the bet in question. On a third offense, resulting penalties could be a loss of one full season of eligibility. And if adopted in January, they will be making stiffer penalties for infractions. Pause the read. And one of the bigger ones that I notice is they want to implement a contract system for NIL deals. Description of services to be performed, payment structure, duration of contract, termination clause for breach of contract, student athlete right to terminate contract at conclusion of NCAA eligibility, attestation of acknowledgement that pay is being provided for work performed and not athletic participation, and attestation that compensation provided is not a recruiting inducement. The NCAA officials obviously had a lot to think about up in Indy this week, but honestly, I'm not totally against a lot of these rules. I normally am.